Try it now. How's that feel? It's heavy. <laughs> of course it's heavy, boy. It's a broadsword. <laughs> Come on. I'll sharpen it for you. Put some leather on that handle. What kind of leather you want? I've got brown, light brown. Hmm. Might even got some nice black leather lying around. Well, I, uh... If it were mine, I'd choose a nice, elegant black. Cut down some works in style. You know what I mean? I don't, um... Do you have something lighter? Like white. White? Huh. Never put white leather on a handle before. Heck, it might even look nice. All right, kid. I'll see what I can do for you. No promises, though. Come back tomorrow, and I'll have it ready for you. All right. I will. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Now scram, kid. I got work to do. Sis, I'm home. Sis. Hello? Myra. I'm out back. What are you doing out here? Look, I'm catching butterflies. They have such pretty colors. You shouldn't be catching those. Why not? Well, they don't like being caught and put in a jar. They might die, sis. Well, maybe. But you wouldn't want to be locked up either, would you? I was going to release them, you know. <laughs> it's okay, sis. Just set them free. Okay. Fine! <sighs> I'm jealous. They can fly anywhere they want. Hey, Maximum. Where do you think you're going? Leave me alone, Dorian. Where are you going? None of your business. You're going to the blacksmith again today, aren't you? <laughs> I saw you there yesterday, too. What if I am? <laughs> you really think you're gonna be a mercenary? You can't even lift that sword. I can. Barely. Oh, just leave me alone. Hey, back off, big guy. Sky, why do you always stand up for this loser? You've been hanging out with this guy since you were like four. Why do you always got to pick on Max? Seems like you can't bear to be without him. You got some kind of weird crush on him or something? Shut up! Hell no! Get out of here, Dorian. Just because your pop is the town mayor, you think you can boss me around? It's working, isn't it? I'll catch you later, Max. Ow! He's such an ass. You don't have to do that all the time, you know. I can handle myself. Well, you did say ow when Dorian punched you really lightly. He's right, you know. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Become a mercenary and all? Sky, you know I can't stay here. I can't take care of the farm on my own. Or Myra. I... I know. But still, there must be some other way to make money. I mean, are you... Oh. You're doing this for another reason, aren't you? Sky, I just... I, I just can't stay here any longer. My parents. I know. It's only been a year since they died, and your brother went missing and all. And I know that taking care of the farm on your own is a huge task, but but to just leave town like that, I don't know. I won't be gone for long. I just need to find some jobs, get things going, and then I'll come back for Myra. I just need you to take care of her until then. Please. You know we'll take her in for a while. 
I already promised you that. That's all I need. I'll... I'll take care of the rest. Well... We're here. Please come see me before you leave, all right? Of course, Skye. I wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. As long as you remember that. Later. Ah, Max. There you are. Give me a sec. I'll go get your sword. Here she is. She? All swords are she. Didn't you know that? No, I... I didn't. Swords are a thing of beauty, Max. Elegant and sophisticated. Especially this one here. Now, I managed to find some white leather. Had just enough to make this handle in the sheath. Well, here you go. Uh, thanks a lot, sir. Don't worry about it, kid. I owe your parents a lot. They kept me going when business was tough, sharing their crops with me. Yeah. They were good people, weren't they? They sure were, kiddo. I consider us square now, though. So the next one's gonna cost you. Of course. Good luck to you. Be careful out there. You hear? I will. Morning, Max. Hi, Myra. Hello, Miss Skye. <laughs> you don't have to call me Miss, silly. Oh, and you're in luck, Myra. My mom is baking fresh cookies. Ooh, I love cookies. Hey, Myra, wait up. Where do you think you're going? Not kissing your older brother goodbye, huh? Sorry, Max. I'm going to miss you. I'm really going to miss you too, sis. You will be back soon. Before you know it. Well, run along now. Those cookies smell good. <laughs> Bye, Max. Well, guess this is it. You look out for her, all right? You know we will. Well, except for me, because I'm coming with you. What? No, you don't have to do that. I'm only going to go with you until you get to the big city. I'll make sure you'll get there in one piece, at least. Sky, I- mm, mm Not optional. You want us to look after Myra? Then this is the deal. Fine. But I'm new to all of this myself. I don't know if I can look out for two people. I don't need you to look out for me. Did you forget that I'm the best archer in this entire village? The entire kingdom, probably? I guess that's true. If anything, I'll look out for the both of us with this bow here. We'll see. Well, this is nice out here. Isn't it, Max? I guess. You can't enjoy anything, can you? I just want to apply to the Mercenary Guild and find some jobs as soon as possible. I don't have time to take in the scenery. What do you mean you don't have time? We're walking. We've got nothing to do besides walking. Man, you are so weird sometimes. Whatever. Well, I like the forest. It's beautiful. And relaxing. Hey, you there! Hello! Please help me! Please help me! Slow down, sir. What's going on? It's goblins! About five of them! They attacked my carriage! They stole my goods! What kind of goblins? Flyers? I don't. I don't think so. I didn't see any of them fly. Or wings, for that matter. It was those green ones you constantly hear about raiding people. Please help me. If if I don't get my goods back, I... Please! Max, 
This is a great opportunity to get some practice and help someone out. All right. Uh, which way did they go? Over there! Off the road, deeper in the forest! Wait here, sir. We'll go and take a look. Sky, let's go. Sky! Stop! Get down! What? Do you see them? Yeah. Do you see that creek? Right below the ridge. They're right there, at the water. Do you see? Oh, yes. Wow. You can hardly see them at all. Their skin looks just like the grass around them. Yes. That's why people get ambushed so easily around wooded areas and overgrown fields. You sure know a lot about this. What do you think I've been doing the past year? I've been researching a lot. I see. So, what do we do? What's the plan? All right. So you see how four of them are right at the water? But only one is guarding the stash a little closer to the tree line. Yeah. We could try and take that one out and steal back the stash without the rest of them knowing? Exactly. But it'll be tricky. We need to go around. Come on. Okay. I think this is close enough. Man, they are really ugly. Yeah. And they may only be half our height, but they can be deadly if they jump at you all at once. I can see why. They all have those weird-looking curved swords. Sure wouldn't want to get cut with one of those. Do you think you could hit him from here with one of your arrows? Are you kidding me? Easy peasy. Great. I don't know if one arrow will take him out. So I'll get closer to finish him off before he can alert the others. Okay, give me the signal when to take the shot. This will be tricky. Goblins have very sensitive hearing. Here I go. for this? I can do this! Oh, shiny! <coughs> I hit ah! one, but he's not dead yet and it's too close now. I might hit you! Stay back there, Sky! The hell I am! I still got this dagger. I'm coming, Max! Murder them! Ha! <coughs> involved in this it's all right max i'm sorry too yeah. dorian dorian where did you come from i knew you were gonna wimp out right away max you're such a weakling uh, are you gonna stand there or are you gonna help right sorry yeah. Yeah. That's the last crate. I can't thank you enough. Thank Dorian here. If it weren't for him, we'd be goners, along with your wares. Thank you, Mr. Dorian. Sky's the one who got hurt. Save your thanks for her. I'm sorry that happened to you, miss. I'll be all right. Well, my thanks goes out to all three of you. Here is your pay. I also prepared this sack for you. Hope you'll enjoy. Wow, there's a lot of great food in here. 
and wine. It's the least I can do. Thank you, sir. We'll be on our way. Good luck to you. Well, Dorian, thank you for your help. But I guess you'll be going back to the village now, right? Are you kidding me? And let UF Sky get hurt again? Hell no. I messed up. It won't happen again. I ain't going anywhere. Can you two please just save it for tomorrow? It's getting dark. We should set up the tent. Fine. Besides, we should really take a look at that wound of yours, too. There. All bandaged up. You should be fine. Thanks, Max. Well, food's ready. Oh, wow. That actually looks good. I didn't know you could cook so well, Dorian. You do know our family runs the tavern, right? Of course. I just never figured you'd... Ah, uh, never mind. I can't wait to dig in. Here you go. And here's yours, Max. Thank you. You know... That's a really big hammer, Dorian. Like... I don't know how you can even lift that thing. It belonged to my dad. From back when he fought in the war. Way before he opened the tavern. It takes some practice, I guess. But it's good at smashing things. <laughs> yeah. We sure saw that. Hey, um, Maximum, I've been thinking. I can't figure out why you're doing all this. I mean, you have no fighting experience. Why did you decide to ditch everything and become a mercenary? Right? He didn't tell me much either. Come on, there has to be another reason, right? Come on, Max. What gives? Do you really want to know? Well, yeah. Fine. I'll tell you everything. One year ago, that night when I came home and... and found my parents in the field. Dead. I saw... him. Who did you see? My brother. What? what? Didn't your brother go missing that night? Yeah, I thought something bad must have happened to him too. No. When I found my parents, lying there, in a pool of their own blood, I saw him, across the field, right at the edge of the forest. He had his back turned to me and he was just standing there, looking in the direction of the forest. I called his name, he needed to help me. I wanted him to save mom and dad. I yelled his name as loud as I could. He slowly turned around to face me and he just stared. I kept yelling his name, hoping he would come over. Didn't he get that mom and dad were hurt? I screamed over and over. But he just kept staring at me. I know he must have seen me, heard me. But then he... He smiled. He put on this, this weird smile. Then he turned his back to me again. And he walked into the forest. All the while, I'm still calling out to him. That's when I realized he did it. He killed mom and dad. His own parents! He probably would have killed his own younger brother and sister, too, if we'd been there. If we weren't at your house that night. You don't know that. I do know! I know! And I know that if I ever see him again, I would cut him down. I would let him bleed on the ground as I stand over him. I would have him say my name. I want him to call out to me for help. And I would just stand there, smiling at him as I stare at him while he dies. Max. That is why I need to learn to fight. Get stronger. Are you sure it was him? Yes. Then I'll help you find him. Dorian! Sky, if this is true, 
And his brother's still out there. And who knows if he'll come back to the village one day and hurt anyone else. But why do we have to do anything about it? We should just report this to the guard and let them handle this. Right? Max, I've got your back on this. Thanks, Dorian. But this is my fight, not yours. I know. But I'll help you along the way. I've got my own reasons, but I want to help you. All right. Thank you. <sighs> really? G guys? Well, I'm gonna hit the sack. Night losers. <laughs> That's a good idea, Sky. We should get some rest. I'm not okay with any of this. Ugh. But fine. Good night, Max. Morning. Ugh, don't you morning me. You kept me up all night with your snoring. The hell I did. Uh, yeah you did. And what the hell were you doing outside of the tent in the middle of the night? I never left the tent. Hmm, must have been Max then. Hey Max. Huh? <gasps> Max, wake up! What? Huh? A note! What are you talking about? There is a note! Pinned to the tent! What? Let me see. No. Did any of you guys do this? Is this some sort of sick joke? What? No! We didn't do anything, Max. What does it say? Who is it from? This note is from my brother. To be continued next time on Mercenary Maximum.